Like the lord city of Istar, Kalaman also had a humble beginning, starting as a small fishing town. And in this video, we are going to dive deep into the city, the history, and the culture of the city of Kalaman. Now before we start, I want to explain that the information for this video is taken from the Age of Mortals sourcebook, War of the Land sourcebook, but more importantly, the Dragonlance wiki that I'm going to put the link below. It is a fantastic source of information for anything Dragonlance. The city of Kalaman is considered to be the northeastern jewel of Solomnia and features one of the most beautiful castles in all of Ancelon. Kalaman is a walled city with a central castle and is surrounded by a series of farms. Kalaman is a port city that sits on the Vingard River. It has a major port which allows seagoing vessels to come into the city and trade up the river through Solomnia. The city also has a huge open air bazaar and merchandise from all over over Kryn is available in the city. It also houses one of the largest fish markets, wildly famed by the availability of the firefish, a special fish that inhabits the nearby Bay of Thoradin and is considered a delicacy throughout Solomnia. The city is run by a governor who is appointed by the guilds who are the heartbeat of Kalaman. The city supports its own militia, which is made out of a mixture of locals and hired mercenaries, who are granted homes within the city. Those militiamen wear red velvet coats and polished black boots, and carry jeweled longswords. And they are arguably the best ordered and best trained militia on Ancelon. Life for the commoners in Kalaman is surprisingly good. There are some slums in the northern district, but in general the poor have a better chance here than in most cities in Ancelon. Kalaman began its journey as a small fishing village. She was discovered by a group of Istarian merchants who were looking to develop a port city. 300 years before the cataclysm, the village was transformed into a small city under the influence of the Holy Empire of Ishtar. However, later on it was seceded into Solomnic control. Over the years, the Solomnics wisely governed the city, developing its sea trade and making the city flourish. Shortly before the cataclysm, Kalaman and Istar became bitter trade rivals, and in retaliation, the city found itself completely blockaded by Istarian navy. Yeah, Istar did not play well with others, and they did not share. After the loss of Istar during the Cataclysm, and the Eternal Pal cast over the newly named Nightlud that bordered with Kalaman, Kalaman's trade slowly declined until Palanthus became the primary port in the north. Despite the decline, Kalaman remained a strong city and did enough trade to maintain itself and its people. Responding to the growing anger of the people against the Solomnic Knights, after the Cataclysm, whom they blamed for not stopping it, Kalaman was one of the first cities to drive them out. The Knights' manors and keeps in the countryside were burned. Their lands distributed among the serfs, and any properties they maintained within the walled city were taken over by the governor, who has himself renounced his knightly heritage. During the War of the Lands, Kalaman was partially destroyed by the Red Dragon Army, following the assault of several flying citadels, dragons, and massive armies. But thankfully, the city was liberated by the Golden General herself, Leorana, and her brother, Gilthanas, during the final days of the war. Shortly after, Gilthanas was approached by the people of Kalaman, who asked him to take over the role of the governor of the city, which he accepted. Under Governor Gilthanas' rule, the city was then rebuilt by a series of merchants and craftsmen, and prospered once more throughout the golden era of several decades. However, Gilthanas' lover Silvara left the city, and shortly after, the elf left as well. Gilthanas left the city in the care of several nobles, but in the same year, Kalaman fell under attack by the Knights of Takesis. They slaughtered many of the males of Kalaman, and hauled a large number of others to be used as slaves. When the forces of Chaos struck, both the Dark Knights and the militia banded together to turn away the Chaos minions from the city. After the Chaos War, the militia formed under their new general, and forced the Dark Knights out of Kalaman. The locals then found their city under a dark pal, with the undead rising and wandering the streets for several decades. Many residents of Kalaman fled whilst the city was filled with undead. However, a number of militia, commoners, and guildsmen remained. 
Gilthanas took control of the city once more for a short while, but after an assassination attempt he left the city to the general and the militia, who took control of the city and named the general both the governor and lord mayor. Following the closure of the War of the Souls, the undead no longer appeared in Kalaman, and the people returned to the city in large number. Guildmasters have reinvigorated the city, pushing a campaign to get the people back to Kalaman. The city started patrolling the sea as well, driving out the pirates who were lurking around the area of Kalaman. Now a few notable sites of the city of Kalaman are the castle of Kalaman. Towering above the center of the city is one of the most beautiful structures in northern Ancelon. Built by the same architects and builders who created some of the largest merchant buildings in the thriving days of Istar crafted the castle. Kalaman also has a huge open air market and at the height of Kalaman's might, the open air market was considered one of the greatest attractions in the north. But above all else, the most important feature of the city is the harbor. The harbor of Kalaman was designed to accommodate ships of every size and style. The docks are set apart and extend far enough into the harbor to allow for unloading and loading of multiple ships simultaneously. Only the largest war galleons would have trouble finding space among the plethora of docks and piers. The mouth of the harbor is wedged between two massive breakways of stone. At the end of each breakway on either side of the harbor entrance, two beacons are lit nightly to help ships find their way in. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video about the city of Kalaman. Have a lovely day and thank you for watching.